Inflation isn't the only force, though, behind rising prices. The former CEOs of Walmart and Home Depot say retail theft is growing at epidemic levels. It's a problem that costs retailers nationwide nearly $100 billion a year. New specialist Mike Anderson has a look at how it impacts smaller local businesses. Mike? Yeah, Dini, you know, here in uh, downtown Ogden, you can find dozens of family-owned and small businesses. And to some degree, they all face the same issues that the big guys do, but they don't always have the same resources to fight back. Just north of 25th Street along Washington Boulevard is Heebie Jeebies Comics and Games. I believe that all of us have stories to share. And to owner Jonathan Pust, those tales that may seem fantastical or outlandish can help us explore our own stories. And a lot of our goal here is to recapture joy, um, you know, the, the safety and the innocence of childhood, the things that reminded you of a time when life was good. So yeah, he's passionate about that. And when someone steals, it hurts just that much more. You try not to take it personally, but I, you absolutely can take it personally because you feel like this is my house. This is, you're, you're, I'm welcoming the public into my place. But retail theft impacts businesses of all sizes. And according to the National Retail Federation, the big box stores have increased their budgets for loss prevention and surveillance by more than 50 percent in recent years. It's surprising how much there is out there. Casey Warren, assistant chief of the Riverdale Police Department, says some of those bigger stores may report multiple thefts a day. We try to work with them to see what's what's going on, what's causing it. And while much of the theft is driven by drug addiction, they try to point offenders toward resources. We certainly try to encourage them to seek help. And uh, if there's anything the court system can do to help them, to help help them through that process. So. But it can be tough to catch these if you don't have the resources. It's why business owners like Pust depend on others to be considerate and keep an eye out. Every man has the ability to go, hey, I think he's stealing something. Well, hey, don't steal that. And, you know, Puss also points out that uh, bigger retailers get a uh, much bigger discount on their inventory. For him, you know, some items may only have a 20 to 30 percent uh, profit margin. So if one gets stolen, he has to sell several more to make back that loss. Back to you. Yeah, definitely hearing it's a problem across the board. Mike, thank you.